Hello everyone, welcome to our channel. My name is Nikita from BSP Solution. In this session, we are going to uh, learn about quick create plan method. How we can use this method in benefit module. We are, I'm going to explain you in this session. Okay, so let's just start today's session. So these are the uh, plan creation methods. You can see here, there is a four types of method. Um, from which you can create the plan, right? So first is the quick create for quick create for plan, quick create program, plan configuration process, which is we also call it the guided process, and last is the integrated Microsoft Excel workbook, right? So let's start with the quick create plan. Uh, when you are using this option, there are many fields that are going to default to common settings. So it allows you to set up your essential pieces and then later on you will go back and make whatever modification that you want within the full-blown process. And when we use this particular option, it's going to set your plan to pending status so that you can again review what was defaulted and make alteration to anything that needs to be different based on the on your business practices right so we are going to create this example medical plan in this session and we also create the supplemental life plan and flexible spending account plan in our next session right next tutorial so let's just move on to the application where we are going to perform this task how we can create the plan On the home page, you have to go to again the benefit administration option, then go to the plan configuration option. On this page, you can see here the plans, right? Just click on it. And you can see here the quick create plan option. Just click on this option. Okay, so here we have to fill the name. And before that, we have to set set the session effective date here if you uh, not selected any date on the search page select here sorry correct here your factor started for the plan okay and after that you have to fill the name then we move on to the other details okay we have to fill the plan here, which is a, which is, the, the, medical and uh, there is, Next option is usage. So um, it's identify how we want to use the plan. It, is it going to be in a program commonly when you need a qualifying event to make a change or not in a program? So it's uh, unrestricted, it's open and available for election entry, right? If I select not in a program, you, you can see here, we are uh, able to check this box on and if i select in program so this is disabled right so either if you uh, select here in a program so it's commonly used when you need a qualifying event to make a changes and if you select not in a program so it's unrestricted it's open and available for election entries right and next here we have the rate level here we have two options, the legal entity and the legislative data group. So rate level is either going to be at your legal entity level or uh, which means 
uh, your legal identification number and if you have a multiple legal identification number then you would have to create rates for each legal entities or each uh, le uh, legal entity registration identification number okay and here we have the legislative data group which is typically going to be one for per country okay because legislative data group is we create only for one country right so here i just select the legal entity and according to this field you can see there is also we have a legal entity for it so here you have to select the legal entity name which legal entity um, you are going to choose for the rates right and if i select here the legislative data group you can see changes here so you have to select the legislative data group here okay so these two rate level and uh, uh, legislative uh, rate level and here uh, the name for the legal entity and the legislative data group field associated with each other if you change here anything the changes reflect here on this field right so here i select the legal entity okay and uh, next what we have is these boxes so here if here what you can see here we can select here the existing plant type right we created here the medical the saving the life insurance we can see here the existing plant type but if i check this box on new plant type so here you what you can see here we have to define plant type name here we have to select the option type here right so if you want to add the new plan type you have to check this box on so you can create the new plan type here right so i just uncheck this box and i explain i just explain you about the enable restricted enrollment if you select not in a program so you are able to check this box on right like this you can uh, able to check this box on now but I'm um, select here in our program, right? And if you want to, here we have the contain option. What is the, uh, what's this option means? You can see here the options right here, right? What options we created in a previous session, which is a benefit option, right? We are able to add here. So if I uncheck this box on, so you can see here the option field is not visible here. Now you can see here we are on a uh, bottom of the page, but we are not able to see the options here right options field if i check this box on so now we are able to see the options field here so this is how these check box works okay so here we select the plan type for this plan here we select the medical because we create we are creating medical and here select the legal entity so I select here the US and if you want to add any required enrollment certification you can add here and plan coverage amount you can fill here right and then here we have to select the plan year period so here for example I select 2017 to 2022 right and uh, here Okay, it's going to be 2023 and here we can add the options okay so in this drop down these options are visible to us why these options are visible because we created under this plan type medical plant type we created these options right so that's why these are visible here no other option are visible here because no other option are created under this plant type right so it's re related to each other so i select here this one and going to attach other one which is a ploy plus family and just going to last one which is a employee plus one okay now what we are going to do is just click on the save and close option
so it causes the processing and in our upcoming session we are going to see what are the eligibility profile and how we can uh, how we can create the eligibility profile and then we come back and associate with our plan okay basically it is here if you want to add any eligibility profiles for this plan the participant who are eligible for this plan you can add here the full time employee the part time employee the contingent worker the pending worker the female worker or the all employed so it's completed now just click on okay and we move on to our summary page so this is the summary page we uh, we associate we created this and we associated these option with this plan okay and you can see here the status is pending here right now uh, why i explain you uh, th on the starting of the session uh, like uh, these are on the pending status why because if you uh, want to change anything you can review it after later point of time and you can change the status after reviewing all the information and then you can deploy it because if you deploy this you are not able to change anything that's why right now it's in a pending status right so we going to just back okay and here if we search for a plan just click on the action and correct option you can review here like we add the year here and we also we can create the year period and we add here right after like if uh, the 20 uh, in the uh, 23 this plan is going to be and right and if we want to continue this plan what we have to do we have to just click on the select and add and add the another year period here but firstly we have to create create the year period so i also um, explain you in other upcoming uh, in our upcoming session how we can create the year period right so here on the status you can change this status um into the active right so first you have to review the information is every if everything is correct you can change the status from pending to active and then you can deploy this right so this is why it is pending because uh, once if you if this is giving you one more chance to review the information and after that you can deploy the plan so this is how we can create the plan uh from the quick create plan option i hope it is clear to you thank you so much for watching the video